In this first week of UX design fundamentals, we're going to look at ideation, articulation, and development. We're going to look at the beginning stages of the UI UX process. In our previous class, we'd focused on the UI aspect of UI UX, the interface design. Now we're going to focus much more on the UX part, the experience. And we're going to divide our UX process up into four chronological stages. And these four stages are going to offer you a roadmap for how to progress from ideation all the way through to a finished digital prototype. So our first week we'll look at ideation, articulation and development. In our second week we'll take those ideas and start to map them out, envision them and test them. Once we've got a clearer idea of what goes where in our interface and what the structure of our overall app is, we'll move on to the third stage of creating wireframes and developing our user interface design. And in our final week, we'll take either wireframes or more developed interface designs and turn them into a digital prototype. Before we get started, I want to do a quick recap of some very general information from our first course. That course focused on UI, and in order to look at it in more detail, we divided UI and UX. We described UI as how the digital experience looks, and UX as what that experience feels like. So UI is based much more in visual design, and UX a little bit more in non-visual design. And we're going to continue this idea of separation in order to examine these disciplines and get more knowledge. With UI, we focused more on form, aesthetics, look and feel, and organization, more graphic design principles. With UX, we're going to look much more at the intangible aspects of interface design, how things feel, how our navigation works, what our story and structure is. UI ends up being a little bit more about the surface. It's design-driven. UX tends to work more with thinking about the user's engagement. It tends to be more driven around the activity of interaction. And while we'll separate UX from UI as a way to get a little bit of focus, it's never truly separated, of course. As we keep saying, they're intrinsically informing each other. So while UI ends up being a little bit more tangible and UX ends up being more propositional, we need both of these aspects of design if we want to be a good UI UX designer. But for now, UI is going to take a back seat and we're going to try and look much more at the UX part of the equation. And since we're dealing with a practice that is less tangible and more propositional, it makes sense that we'll start out looking at ideation, articulation, and how to develop an idea. All four of our weeks are connected, and this first week really deals with the thinking phase of the UX process.